1979, I gave a paper at the National Computer Conference entitled VisiCalc, the Visible Calculator. It was actually not the computer conference itself, but a side conference called the Personal Computing Festival. You have to remember that back in 1979, it wasn't simply, um, you know, that there weren't spreadsheets, there weren't even personal computers. So all these concepts were new. Personal computers are nothing more than toy machines, and spreadsheets, we didn't have, people didn't even have the concept of spreadsheets. That's why we call the program VisiCalc, because people, very few people actually did large sheets of calculations and then had to recalculate it. Um, so this is why in this paper I have to really explain the basic concepts of spreadsheets and personal computing. In fact, it wasn't until nearly 15 years later, uh, with the release of Windows 95, that uh, personal computers, be and, and the Internet, of course, that personal computers started to become normal to use for everyday activity, not just something you visited once in a while to do computing. So, given that perspective, um, so I'll just read the paper as written, and then we'll make comments later. Uh, introduction. Many people justifiably ask what today's personal computers are good for aside from playing games. Typically equipped with a basic interpreter as the human interface, these machines either require extensive programming by the user or else require the purchase, when they are available, of restrictive CAN programs for specific applications. Few people can be expected to be able or willing to expend the effort to write programs in BASIC or in Pascal for simple applications. CAN packages tend to be very specific Procrustean beds to which the user's application must conform. This is not to say that there's no way to make effective use of the personal computer. As we can see by the acceptance of a primitive personal computer, the pocket calculator, a flexible aid uh, which will be used extensively. Uh, we would like to uh, capture the convenience and familiarity of the calculator in a personal computer. Look at the way most people use calculators, normally with the aid of a sheet of paper to plan the work and record the intermediate results, we can see how the calculator plus a flexible video screen could be a powerful tool. This is the premise or starting point for VisiCalc. How can we make the personal computer with a CRT screen an improvement over a sheet of paper? One limit of the calculator and paper is the difficulty of erasing and recalculating. How often do people sit down with the famili these familiar tools and try to work out a problem, be it income tax calculations, checkbook balancing, business forecasting, or whatever, only to finally give up and settle for a partial answer because of the difficulty of dealing with the recalculations necessary either to correct for errors or to try our different starting values? How nice it would be if the paper and the calculator worked together so that whenever you change anything on the paper, the other values would automatically be recalculated. VisiCalc addresses these needs. It's like a magic piece of paper that can perform calculations and recalculations with ease. Basically, VisiCalc represents a very large sheet of paper organized into rows and columns of entries. By simply moving the cursor to an entry, you can place values and expressions to be calculated on the screen. You can also type comments and titles. Of course, being limited to the current personal computers, you, you must view the sheet through the window of the CRT screen. VisiCalc does, though, let you scroll through this window in all four directions over the sheet of paper. The benefits of VisiCalc go beyond the humble origins as calculating paper. It represents a way of using computers that allows the user to ask what-if questions that would be too tedious to carry out by hand. Not only are such questions important in planning, they can be vital to the user in learning and coming to an understanding of his own application. Both the words serendipity and synergy are pro appropriate for VisiCalc. As VisiCalc evolved, it showed us how effective personal computers can be as streamlined interactive tools. But VisiCalc was not simply a lucky extrapolation of the basic ideas. Both orders, authors of VisiCalc have extensive background using large mainframes as personal computers and in creating systems to be used by large numbers of people with little training. 
Word, word processing background is special importance since it provides experience in designing screen-based, highly interactive interfaces. More important to VisiCalc, it made us very aware of the need for a carefully designed and tuned user interface. This interface was constantly refined during the development process. VisiCalc, a closer look. As noted, VisiCalc represents the user with a large sheet of paper onto which can be placed arithmetic expressions or text. While typing the expression on the screen, the user can refer to other numbers or expressions by pointing to them. When the value of an entry is changed, the values of the other entries which depend on it are automatically recalculated. Though only the result of the calculation is displayed in entry, by moving the cursor to an entry, the user can see at the top of the screen the expression used in the calculation. The top of the screen also shows other status information. Okay. We can see how VisiCalc works at a simple home budge budgeting example. We can set up a row for each category in our budget, such as income, food, rent, recreation, and savings. We then set up a, the column for the first month, entering the values for each item. We might want to describe the savings as the income, less the other expenses. We do this by typing the expression for savings as we would on a calculator, except instead of typing numbers, we point to each item, income, food, etc. The value of the savings is recalculated automatically whenever the value of another item is changed. We can extend the budget for 12 or more months by repeating the process for each month. Rather than tediously typing similar expressions, we use the replicate command to copy our descriptions for the rest of the year. Now that we've set up a personal budget, we're ready to take advantage of VisiCalc and ask, what if? We might want to change the heating expenses to be higher in the winter, maybe increase the recreation expenses at vacation time. We can then see whether we would be able to save any money on our current income, even if we paid more rent. Or maybe, if we get a 5% raise, we can afford that apartment that looks so tempting. This ability to try different values, to ask what if, corresponds to a simple requirement of a calculating sheet of paper. But VisiCalc is more. The paper now calculates and can be manipulated by moving rows and columns as necessary. The sheet can be used to store lists of data, such as phone numbers, with new entries being inserted manually in alphabetic order. You can record your checkbook in this manner. The calculator feature not only allows VisiCalc to store the checks, but maintains the current balance as each check is entered. When the bank statement arrives, the checks listed can be moved on the sheet to correspond to the order of the statement, thus making it very easy to, re to reconcile the statement and keep track of outstanding checks. This can be the basis of a simple home financial record-keeping system.